is up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Vanessa and I love to be thrifty so that's my name thrifty Ness and today we are doing day seven seven yes of the 10 day countdown to Halloween I almost said Christmas <laughs> Um, 10 day countdown to Halloween with some quick and easy last minute makeup looks you can do um, to make a makeshift costume if you don't have um, money or time to go buy one. So today we're doing something super easy and I have a fun, funky, colorful shirt on to go along with what we're doing, which you can tell by the title is an 80s inspired makeup look. All right, I think I'm going to actually do something that I don't think I've seen any YouTuber do ever is start with the lips. Um, because the brightest lipstick that I could get my hands on in my makeup set at the moment is this one right here. And I don't want to put on an eyeshadow that's going to clash with it. So we're going to start by putting this on so that we know for sure when I'm starting to do my eye makeup that it matches. <laughs> so we're just going to jump right into this. This is the CoverGirl Melting Pout Vinyl Vow. That's kind of an interesting name, but... It is seriously the most vibrant color and it is kind of like I mean it's a vinyl so it's kind of like a gloss almost we're just gonna do a super bright vibrant eyeshadow look to go with this and I want to kind of do colors that are in my shirt I know there's not pink in my shirt so we're gonna tie in the shirt and the lips together so we're gonna put pinks purples oranges and blues um, I don't think I'm gonna put the blues on my eyes um, but we're gonna do the pinks purples and oranges on my eyes so we're gonna jump into um, I have two different vibrant palettes that I've pretty much been using this entire series. This one right here, which is actually a palette that I bought the individuals for myself. Um, it's from Coastal Scents, um, S-C-E-N-T-S, CoastalScents.com. Um, you can buy, actually, right there, Coastal Scents. <laughs> um, you buy the like palette thingy and then you buy all the individuals. They had a crazy sale where each of these singles were like a dollar. And it was... I was like, you cannot pass that up. Um, and then, of course, our giant Morphe palette. So, um, I think I'm going to start with the pink. Just get the pink from my lips tied in right away. Um, and we're just going to grab a fluffy brush of some kind. Here we go. Who else is really bad about washing their brushes? I am 100% guilty of that. 100%. <laughs> I know it's bad, but I know there's lots of people that are bad about doing it too. So we're literally just, I'm jumping right into the super bright pink. It has a lot of fallout and I'm going to kind of do this in the middle, um, section of my eye. Okay, it looks kind of crazy at the moment. I almost feel like I look like the, the look that they do for Queen of Hearts. I almost feel like they do that on her. But we're going to tie it all together, I promise. So the next color we're going to tie in is actually the orange, which the Morphe palette actually does not have an orange. These All of these ones that maybe look orange are red. So I really only have, I think, two oranges. Yep, I have two oranges in all of my collection. One in the toast, Coastal Scents right here in the corner, and one in the Party Animal palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I think I'm actually going to go for this one because it's just a little bit darker like what's on my shirt. And we're going to put this on the inner and outer side of the pink. While I'm doing this, I wanted to tell you guys, I really appreciate you watching my videos. Um, I know that not everybody that has subscribed to my channel is here for makeup videos. I know a good portion of my subscribers came from my contact lens videos, but I really appreciate the views and just, I don't know, I, it's my creative outlet. Um, I'm dragging the orange kind of down and under my eye, by the way. It's my creative outlet to be on YouTube. It's not really for the views. I mean... We all say that, but really I would love for like tons of people to enjoy the entertainment that I can make with a video. Um, but you know, 
I also just do it because I love it. My husband absolutely thinks I'm insane for doing this 10 day countdown because I'm up late into the night making a video and editing it. And then I'm also gonna take some of that pink from the beginning and tie that in under my lashes in the center part that doesn't have anything yet. Okay, so I decided I want to tie in some yellow, even though that's not on my shirt, I want to tie some in. So I'm going into the Morphe palette that has this crazy bright yellow down here in the corner, and I'm just taking it on my finger. Look at that, look how bright it is, holy moly. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this right in the corner. Okay, we are actually going to tie in green as well. Um, so I have that green on the Morphe palette. So the next thing we're diving into is a bunch of liner, a bunch of it. So <laughs> we're going to jump into this kit, which by the way, I will see if I can find, um, the link to these and put it down in the description box below. Um, cause this kit of like liners is amazing. Again, I mentioned like a couple of videos ago that they do flake. Don't touch your face and like, don't put it in a place that you emote a lot, which your eyes, if you're just doing like regular liner, you're fine. Okay, so I'm gonna take this light blue, which I ended up using like in my full brow last time for the Ice Queen look, and we're going to just draw a line that's kind of through the middle of my eyelid. We're looking very rainbow, <laughs> and now we're going to use purple as the actual eyeliner. So, wish me luck, because, um, this is the part where you're not gonna see because I have to be like this close to the mirror to make sure I'm very accurate. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the purple liner is done. And the next thing we're going to do before I do um, like mascara and stuff, because that definitely needs to dry, <laughs> is we are going to do some little geometric kind of shapes on our face. I don't know if you guys remember those little like individual cups that you could get or the water cups like from um i think any fast food but basically they had that like blue triangle with like the white going through it i'll put a picture on the screen here <laughs> i'm gonna kind of imitate that in one of the little shapes and then like the rest are just going to be random geometric options or shapes um so let's just jump into drawing some fun little shapes on my face <laughs> So the first shape, of course, that I'm gonna do is the triangle. So I'm just going to draw. I think I forgot to mention also um, in the beginning of this that I am doing a look kind of based on a, a photo I found online on like, um, I think it was on Pinterest, not 100%. I don't know who to give credit to, unfortunately, because I found it somewhere random. So if this look looks like something that you did, and you need credit for it, definitely let me know and I will put your link down below and share your work because uh, that's what inspired this whole thing. So we're gonna take some yellow. Okay, this is the final look. What do you guys think? If I get nice and close, there's just a lot of colors going on, but hey, that's what they did in the 80s. They wore a bunch of crazy random colors. <laughs> um, I think it looks really cool if you just wear something like 80s clothes or like this ties in the 80s colors and then 
maybe something that they might wear in the 80s on the bottom. Whatever you want to do, but this gives you the 80s base and wear whatever you want. Scrunchies, you know, leg warmers, whatever. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching today. This was super fun and super easy. I love bright colors. I do. I just, I always have loved bright colors. But it's funny because my, my clothes that I wear a lot of the times are like black and like dark um, gemstone colors. So <laughs> this is not that obviously, but that's all right. You can have fun sometimes. But anyways, if you like this video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this or anything related to my love for my job of being an optician or being thrifty shopping, finding deals, all that fun stuff. So stay tuned for more videos and tomorrow's next look for the 10 day countdown and we'll see you then. Bye.